it's Trina and this is my summer book haul. So these are the, all the books that I've acquired over the past three months in the summer season. I'm going to start out by recapping the couple of books that I have gotten from Fairy Loot over the summer. So the first of those was Roar by Cora Carmack. You guys have already heard me talk about these books so I'm just going to give like a really brief synopsis here in case you didn't but I will link my Fairy Loot unboxing videos below. But Roar is a YA fantasy novel about a girl who can control storms or she's supposed to be able to control storms but she was born without that power she's about to start ruling her kingdom and she's got to come up with a way really quick to gain her magical powers their July pick was daughter of the burning city by Amanda Foodie and this is a book set in like a carnival and our main character is an illusionist she's like the only true illusionist that's been born in hundreds of years she can create illusions of people and all of a sudden her illusions are being killed off and so they're trying to figure out the mystery behind that I did only purchase one book myself this entire summer. The book that I did purchase was one that I've really been looking forward to and I knew that I wanted to own it before I even read it. That is Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. I have read this book. It's going to be reviewed in my August wrap up. This is a YA contemporary story about an abusive romance. I have had a manipulative toxic relationship before and I have found that I enjoy reading books that explore that with teenagers because I was very young when I experienced that. So this was a book that I knew was going to have a lot of personal meaning to me and it didn't disappoint. So I really appreciate this book and I'm really glad that I bought it because it is definitely one that I want to own. I think it's very very important. I also did a book swap on Twitter with Whitney from Witty novels for An Arc of a Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. And I do actually own the hardcover copy of this because I like to buy all of Mindy's books. That's why I don't usually get arcs of her books because I know I want to own them and support them. But I was like, you know, Whitney had this up for trade and she wanted some merch that I had and I was like, I it's just sitting on my shelf collecting dust. Sure, I'm just going to start my collection of any books of hers that I can find. I don't have room for that, but that's a thing that I did this month. If you aren't familiar with this book, this is a YA historical novel about a girl who was put into an asylum because she's pregnant out of wedlock. There's a mystery going on in here. The main plot is that that main character ends up working along with a doctor and then they end up trying to catch a serial killer. Then Thomas Nelson Publishing sent me a copy of Unraveling by Sarah Ella, which is the sequel to Unblemished. And this is a YA urban fantasy series about a girl living in New York who discovers that parallel versions of the world exist and she actually is from a different dimension, different world. I did review this in my July wrap up briefly so if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this book specifically you can check out that wrap up. The last five books I have to show you are all ARC's advanced reader copies that were sent to me by Penguin Teen. I got their like game changers box which was really cool because I had no idea to expect that and it was just awesome. So you guys may have seen this floating around but I'll tell you guys about each of these books now. So first up is Warcross by Marie Lu. This one comes out on September 12th. It's it's about like this video game in the future that exists that everyone is like obsessed with. You live your life a lot in this game and our main character is a hacker. She's like a bounty hunter on the side to make some cash and she ends up hacking her way into the game. I'm really looking forward to this one. I have read a couple chapters so far and it's very fast paced, very action packed. I'm very into it so I'm really looking forward to finishing this one and telling you guys my thoughts on it. Next is Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore which comes out on September 19th. That is quite a hollow cover. How can I hold this? It won't be distracting. And it seems like this story is about a girl whose aunt recently passed away and then she receives an invitation to go stay at this mysterious island. And she goes because before her aunt died she had made her promise if you ever get an invitation to this thing you have to go. So she kind of goes to honor her aunt and while she is there over the course of her stay she has to like make five different decisions that will have a big impact on the rest of her life. Um, that's a pretty vague summary, that's pretty much all I've gotten out of it, and I want to know more, like, what is going to happen? Like, that sounds kind of spooky. It sounds like she's being invited to, like, a test or a quest or a game or something, so I definitely am very intrigued by this and want to know more about it, so I will be reading this one soon, hopefully as well. Also included was a partial arc of There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This full book comes out on September 26th, so partial arc means there's only like 
a hundred something pages. It's not even the full book and I'm very sad about that because this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. I really want to see how she's going to do this genre. So I'm really excited about this book and I can't wait to read it. It comes out September 26. It's just a thriller novel kind of in the vein of Scream. Then is Things I'm Seeing Without You by Peter Bagnani and this one comes out on October 3rd. This is a YA contemporary novel about a girl whose best friend just killed himself and so she is dealing with that. She drops out of high school and I believe she starts um, writing him after he's gone like it was something that they did they used to send each other notes and she just keeps writing to him the synopsis kind of ends by saying then she receives a message she never expected so I'm not really sure what that means is he like gonna write her back or is she gonna receive a note from him that he wrote while he was still alive that he intended to give to her so I'm not really sure about it I haven't really heard too much about this book but I'll definitely see if I can give it a shot and see if I like it and the last art they sent me is a forest of a thousand lanterns by Julie C Dow this is a fantasy novel and it is a retelling it is an East Asian retelling of the evil queen story and this one is about a girl who's meant to be Empress but she can only do that if she embraces her dark side and that's all I need to know about it because that sounds really interesting. It sounds like kind of a villain or an anti-hero origin story or something. So we'll definitely see. I know there's a lot of hype for this one. I have also been looking forward to this one before I received the arc because I had been hearing about it. So definitely another one that I'm very excited about. They just hit it out of the park with this box of arcs. Some very, very good titles here. So those are all the books that I have recently gotten that have been added to my collection in the summer, the past few months. If you've read any of these books and want to let me know which ones I should prioritize, definitely let me know that in the comments. And I would love to hear from you guys what was the most recent book that you hauled. Whether you bought it, it was sent to you, or you got it from your library. I'd love to hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!